Greetings. I'm Professor Hobo, and I'm coming at you today from the beautiful Arizona mountains where I'm sharing one of my sunsets with you guys. I'm here to give you guys an update on the Blue Eddy AC200. It is leaving the Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign as of Wednesday this week. That's less than two days away from when this video airs. This is gonna be your last chance. This is the last call to get the Blue Eddy AC200. I've done four videos on it so far for $13.99. Once it leaves Indiegogo, it's not gonna be available for at least 60 days for retail purchase. So if you want one and you wanna get one within the next month, you're gonna to have to purchase it on Indiegogo within the next day or two and get in there before the crowdfunding ends. Because if you miss it, it's probably not gonna come out for retail until around November or maybe even December for you to purchase off the Blue Eddy website. And when it does go for sale on the Blue Eddy website, you're gonna be paying $17.99. And I'm actually told from my guy there it's going to be at least $17.99. It might be $18.99. So you're going to save yourself a lot of money if you want to get one of these production models now. Now one of the things I wanted to cover in this final video was charging from third-party solar panels. One of the biggest questions I got about the AC200 was how to charge the darn thing with third-party solar. Of course, you can buy the Blue Eddy panels as part of the campaign, and they're great. My last video about the Blue Eddy, I did cover those solar panels. So I showed you how to use them, I showed you how well they worked, and I, and I covered all the features. They are made with sun power cells. They're very good, very good brand cells good panels, some of you want to go a cheaper route, some of you want to go with rigid glass panels. And I've been recommending the Bouge RV 170 watt panels for the last several months. Now, they're not going to be available until I think October or November, but now, they're, now they have a replacement for the Bouge RV panel. It's a Bouge RV 180 watt panel. So a lot of you guys have been telling me you've been still ordering the Bouge RV panels, but the company told you in an email that you're not gonna get it for a couple months, but what they're gonna do is upgrade you to the 180 watt panel for the same price. So those of you interested and you don't need your solar panels right away, might wanna get in on that deal. I'll put the link in the description below for the Bouge RV 180 watt panels. And if you wanna wait a couple of months to get them, but get them super dirt cheap, you can use that link below with my code and that'll get you a really good deal on as many of them as you wanna buy. But back to the AC200. I originally wanted to do this video showing you guys how well it charges with third-party solar panels, especially the Bouge RV 170 watts and Renogy 100 watt panels. I mean, those are the two most popular options to charge a Blue Eddy if you want a fixed glass rigid panel. So when I was in Tucson a couple of weeks ago, before we moved up here into this beautiful countryside, I was able to set up my solar panels. I had them up on my trailer, up on a stand. I was able to tie together four Bouge RV 170 watt panels in series, and I did a test on that, and I'll show you here in a moment what kind of wattage I got. And I also tied together an additional three 100 watt solar panels on top of that for seven solar panels in series total, nearly a thousand watts, and I have some results for that too. Unfortunately, the weather did not cooperate when we were in Tucson. We were down there for several weeks. I was waiting for the sun to come out. I had my Blue Eddy in hand, but it was nothing but monsoon rains. Every single day it looked like this, cloudy, barely any sun. And it happened again today. I have all my solar panels here laying down on the ground below me, but there wasn't enough sun today to do an actual field test. And since the campaign is ending in one day, I needed to get this video out. So I'm gonna have to just show you guys this old footage. It's not necessarily what I wanted to show. I wanted to show it charging at a full 700 watts. I didn't really reach 700 watts, but let's go over that footage right now and show you what happened a few weeks ago in Tucson. Professor Hobo here. I've been trying for the last couple of days to get enough sunshine to do this test. So finally there's a break in the clouds for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna record and see how much power we can get from this solar panel array. As you can see behind me, I have four Bouge RV 170 watt panels all running in series, going directly to the Blue Eddy AC200. Let's look and see what kind of wattage we're getting. Now I know you can't see that because I can barely see it. It says 378 watts. 9.2 amps at 41 volts. 
Now it's probably because there's a lot of moisture and haze in the sky. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the rest of the panels and see what we get. I have three more 100 watt panels on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these all in series. So I got Bouge RV 100 watt, 200 watt Renegies, four Bouge RV 170 watt panels all in series. That should give us around 150 volts. Let's see what we got. It's currently showing 585 watts, 110 volts, 5.2 amps. So we're getting almost 600 watts from the array right now, and that's not under perfect conditions. Yeah, it's hovering around 114 volts, 590 watts. So that's what we're getting from the seven solar panels. So there you have it, nearly 1,000 watts of solar going in to the AC200, and I'm getting about 600 out. Now again, it rained the last two straight weeks. It's the first break in the sun we got. That big cloud's about ready to move in. So this is the best I can do to get this video out before the end of the campaign. So hopefully that'll be a good enough result for you guys. By over paneling, you're guaranteed to at least, you know, get five or 600 watts, like in this case, even if some overcast moved in. Yesterday I was getting 400 watts and you couldn't, and the sun wasn't even shining through the clouds. So over paneling is always a good idea. It gives you a little bit more leeway when it comes to weather. Yeah, I just checked again. We're hitting just about 600 watts, but we're not hitting that 700 watt cap on the Blue Eddy yet. I don't have any more panels to put into it. So these are the only ground panels I have that are MC4 that I leave out all the time. So uh, seven solar panels it can take, seven 12 volt solar panels. And you see right here, it's working. And that's under full sun conditions. It does push the 150 volt limit. There was one time that it aired because of 150.2 volts. But basically, like, all I had to do is put my hand over one panel, and that lowered the voltage just enough to kick the Blue Eddy in the gear. And once the Blue Eddy starts taking the power, that voltage comes down. So at that point, it was still ready to work. Now, I wouldn't recommend this setup because of that, because you're going to have probably times you have slight over voltage. I'd recommend six panels, or instead of like, you know, doing four 170s and three 100s, do seven 100s. That gets you 700 watts, and you probably get about 500, 550 out of that on a pretty good day. Um, also, remember that today is over 100 degrees. It's about 105 degrees. That greatly reduces the efficiency of the solar panels. So I know that for a fact because I just plugged the four Bouge RV ones in on their own, which is 680 watts, and I was only getting 400 something out of them. And that's because the panels are heat soaked. They've been sitting out in the sun all day long. They're probably at least 140 degrees. Again, it's very good to over panel because of the same reason. You're gonna get a lot less power out of your panels than you expect. Now, if you're in a cold climate, higher elevations, you'll get more power. So that's the way it is. Hopefully this demonstration has answered some questions for you. Yes, you can hook up a whole bunch of solar panels or we recommend doing it in series. Try to get as close as you can to that 150 volt limit in the Blue Eddy. So if you are interested in the AC200 Blue Eddy, don't forget to check out the link below in the description. Like I said, you got one more day to get it on Indiegogo for $13.99. Then the price goes up permanently to at least $17.99. But if you are interested in the Bouge RV panels, I'll have a link to that below, along with links to the Renogy panels if you're interested in those as well. Don't forget you can check out hobotech.tv slash Amazon for everything you see in these videos. I usually have promo codes and everything on that website for you so you can make your own decision. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Hey Odin, what do you think of the new house? Are you really that enthused? Are you happy? Huh? RV Golf Guy, Z Foxfire.